smooth terrorist here. Um, it's been a long time since I made a video. I just can't get very enthusiastic about YouTube anymore. Um, I was planning to make more videos than this, but in order to get engaged in the process, I have to watch videos on YouTube, which I find I can't really do anymore. Um, most of the people I used to watch on here are either gone now or they've gotten lame. Because um, it, it, it seems like uh, mainstream TV has, has forced its way into the social media revolution and the people that used to be in the social media revolution are now like working in mainstream TV, which, by the way, uh, you know, that reality TV thing I did is uh, out, but I think most of you guys know that already. Uh, if you don't, go find it. It's WeTV. Um, and be before anybody thinks about leaving a comment asking me, like, you know, am I really married? Was that really Ocean's mom? Uh, do I worship Satan? just roll a sheet of construction paper into a dunce cone and find a stool to sit on. Um, it's, it's, it's not reality, it's, it's actuality. Okay. But I don't want to talk about that. I, I, I want to talk about the, um, the Wall Street occupation. Which, you, you know, when I first heard about this, I had to roll my eyes, because it, it's like a bunch of 20-something Leninist, privileged white students uh, moved out of mommy and daddy's house and felt the crunch of the economic crisis for the first time, and it's, it's like... Uh, Oh, I'm saddled with student loan debt, and the job market isn't what I thought it would be. Ooh, let's go occupy Wall Street. Um, and it's it's you, you know as occupations go, it's it's not exactly like the uh, German occupation of of uh, Paris or the Soviet occupation of Prague. It's it's kind of a lesser occupation. It's a little occupation. It's an occupation that consists of, uh, you know, playing hacky sack in the fenced off free speech zone while the cops, like, come in and pepper spray you for entertainment once in a while when they get bored. And, uh, you know, we are the 99%. It's just stupid shit. Um, it piqued my interest a little bit when I heard that the Tea Party was there, because, uh, you know, I've been predicting for a long time that the, the hippies and the, the the liberal hippies and the conservative Tea Party protesters would eventually find common ground with one another and realize, like, oh, oh hey, you know, you don't have a job, I don't have a job, you're poor, I'm poor, huh, maybe we should uh, be on the same side. So when I heard they were both there and not, like, killing each other, I kind of got a little tingle, like, ooh. Um... But, you know, as, as, as movements go, this, this one is still in that burgeoning stage, um, gathering steam stage. But I don't want to talk about the, uh, the occupation, it's, I can't say that without laughing, the occupation itself. What I, what I actually want to talk about is the, the media coverage in the mainstream corporate media coverage of the police abuse at, at this uh, Wall Street occupation, because it's, it's weird. Uh, I was in Monograph's blog TV show, and, and he uh, brought this to my attention. He, he talked about this MSNBC editorial that was really scathing about police abuse at the uh, protests, and I, I'll put a link to it down there. And, you know, that blindsided me because I, I haven't watched corporate media in a long time because it's, it's bullshit, so I don't know what they're doing or what they're up to. And, I, I, you know, I heard him say that, and I thought, no, it can't be a scathing, it's all that. They, they don't do that. 
but I watched it and it, it was and that wasn't an isolated incident I've, I've seen uh, an ABC news piece that criticized the police abuse and uh, it wasn't quite a scathing but for that to be mentioned at all is just unheard of uh, now one thing monograph said was is the tide starting to turn but the revolution really won't be televised and uh, the, the time honored political adage follow the money always applies and the, they don't call them corporate media for nothing that the corporate media is synonymous with Wall Street they are Wall Street um, and it's not the corporate media never covers um, police abuse but when they cover police abuse that they'll cover like uh, white cops shooting a black guy, you, you, you know, something divisive to drive a wedge between the peasants, like sow the seeds of discord among us poor folk. Yeah, th that's the time when they cover police, not at a protest. At a, at a protest, there is no police abuse. It's terms like police riot are just outside of the mainstream media vocabulary. It's unheard of for them to do something like this, and and the. Uh, incident in question, the one they're focusing on the most, I, I saw the footage of it, uh, four or five girls got uh, pepper sprayed in the face by some lieutenant, and, you know, I contrasted that immediately to, like, the um, 99 battle in Seattle WTO protests, where you would have like, uh, peaceful protesters sitting on the ground singing Kumbaya, and it, pig comes up in full riot suit and rips the goggles off their face and like burns their eyeballs out with a fire extinguisher sized canister of pepper spray or, or you know contrast it to like the um, the 2008 Twin Cities RNC welcoming committee thing where they raided people's homes ahead of time preemptively to stop the protest and then I remember seeing footage of like eight cops dogpiling this this elderly woman at the Twin Cities protests and like breaking the bone in her ankle so her foot twisted turned the other way. Um, you know, but of course I saw that on alternative sources like uh, Russia Today, uh, The Real News, Democracy Now. You don't see stuff like that on the mainstream media ever, ever. Um, you know, at a protest, the cops can do no wrong. And if, if, if they ever cover police abuse of any kind at a protest, um, at least a protest on, on our soil, you know, if it's Egypt or something, that's, that's a different story. But if, but if it's on American soil, if police abuse at a protest gets covered at all, there's a spin where, you know, the, the crowd got rowdy and the dirty hippies needed to be controlled and the police are you know, brave and dutiful uh, protectors of the public interest. You know, nonsense. So, I really can't imagine what's going on here, and um, I'm kind of wishing I could bend old Machiavelli's ear on this one, because uh, it's making me really paranoid. I, I can't, for the life of me, figure out what the media is playing at by covering this this piddly little pepper spraying at this protest like it's Kent State or some shit. Um, and that's why I'm making this video. I want to get your thoughts. Uh, by my admittedly cynical metric, there ought to be about five people out of my audience of roughly 2,000 that, ha that have three brain cells to rub together. And I, I really want to get your take on this. Well, what are they up to? What's the corporate media doing? Why are they talking about this at all? Why isn't it a blackout? Um, that's what I want to know. That's, that's what I want to know. So this has been The Smooth Terrorist. If you enjoyed this video and you don't want to see it disappear, then download it, re-upload it, mirror it, parody it, make it your own, because the folks at Google and Wall Street can't um, censor me unless you let them. Keep it smooth.